Hello and welcome to this third part of my video. My name is Samuel Vidal and today I'm going to continue. Um, we already may um, put some makeup and you know change the color of her hair and now I'm gonna add some superhero suit hair and superhero boots and a cape okay but before I begin there's something I need to do that I forgot to do on the um, second part which was to you know change the color of her eyelashes and her fingernails I for some reason forgot to do that last time but I'm just gonna do that real quick here it's easy it's just going to select her body here <clears throat> and we're gonna go to the materials option here and then on the materials list here first of all we're gonna look for eyelash here and we'll select it then we're gonna go down here then let me zoom in this so we can see what's going on with her eyelash and we're gonna make that a purple we just going to saturate it and hit a little bit of the brightness so you can see see it turned purple here and that's it and the <clears throat> finger nails right we're just gonna go back here to the top and then look for um, let me see where I can see it oh here <laughs> this on top of the eyelash here um, nails see and then now um, the texture is selected here it's just simply gonna do this and just going to lower the brightness uh, put a little bit of saturation too and okay oops uh, that looks good i guess okay that's it now that that's done okay just gonna hit save here <clears throat> gonna go to the content tab and then on the clothing option here uh, for the suit we're going to select the full character and I'm gonna go to this folder here the pix Tim this folder here um, fortunately you have to buy this separately it doesn't come within the program um, and then I'm going to select this suit here okay okay immediately we see some kind of errors here like the bra coming out and then part of her skin coming out of the suit but um <clears throat> she no longer needs the bra and the underwear because that's not going to be visible anymore so we can go here on the scene tab and then select that so like the underwear bottom scene so already select it and then press delete to delete that and do the same thing for the bra and delete see now for over here that we need we need to fix this We will do the same thing as we did in the first video except that 
um, in this case, for example, I'm just going to go here to the modify um, attributes and edit mesh. But instead of me selecting now the vertices here, I'm going to select the sculpt brush here and then make sure that the brush type you're going to have this one selected the pool and then we're going to start here see and look how easy that's being done see hold on i needed to rotate this and go back here with this brush and pulling those faces up because I mean that's what it's doing you know pulling these faces here and then we kind of need to do the same thing on the other side as well then we'll do the same thing here And I think that's it, right? Oh, I got a little bit left there. Hold on. Okay. So, I guess that's it. Then once you're done, again, to close the editor, just hit that back. Okay, just hit here on save. That's something I should be encouraging my viewers to constantly save because this type of um, programs usually they have the tendency of crashing out of the blue. <laughs> it had happened to me before. So now I'm gonna add the um, boots here and <clears throat> again the Pixtim folder and then the super boots that looks good okay and for the cape i'm not sure if it was here let me see i would like to think so no it's not here but actually in here we find the the belt and the pockets and a mask, but I'm not gonna add a mask. Okay, I'm just gonna add the belt. And the um the pockets here. Okay. Now let me see where I can find the I think it's in here. The cape. Oh there it is, okay. Usually in that photo that I had before, she had a longer cape, but I did that in Blender. So for this final video, I'm just only going to use this one just to show you. Okay. <clears throat> now that that's done, I'm going to right click here and select the super suit. Okay. Now, if you notice this suit here, she has this area here is black and then you see the zipper and then you see the kind of like the gold or wait like, I would like to think it's gold or copper I don't know the color here and I wanna change that to purple and like a lighter pur purple here okay so usually what I would do in this case is I will go to the appearance and then under outfits okay and I have the this option check this super suit and I want to make sure I put the 
PBR seven mat this one and activating the editor. <clears throat> it's more like take a while. Okay, finally it did load up and okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to let me expand this a little bit. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, that's what I'm trying to look at. Okay. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to do is decrease this output size. So that way it doesn't take that long if I do any changes. Okay. And I'm going to scroll down here all the way to this option, Diagnostic. Because I want to see if I can change <clears throat> this um, colors in the suit individually. Okay. So I will, you know, um, expand this and then check enable. And once I enable that, I can see that this entire suit is already a one texture suit which means I'm not gonna be able to to um, edit that individually the colors see it's not what they call mask by color see that's unfortunate so in order for me to do that first I will uncheck this back again um, I, I got another way to go around that for me to be able to to change this colors here I got another way to do that but let me put this back to the resolution again and then close the editor <coughs> okay Let's back here again. <clears throat> okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the material. And you see this, this texture here. This texture. I'm going to go to this option here and I'm going to save this texture. Okay. Mm. I'm going to save it here. Um, suit. Okay. I'm going to save it there. And now I'm going to use um, a photo editor to edit that texture there. It's going to be the PaintShop Pro 2020, but again, you can use any other software, GIMP, um, Adobe Photoshop, any other soft, um, photo editor software. And now, I'm just gonna open this up here. And, sorry, I'm lost here. And, part three. See, we see the texture here. <clears throat> I'm gonna open. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select uh, this one, the, the flop fill tool. And I wanna use this one, so, okay. And then I'm gonna use this color here. And then, of course, I will have to fill all this. If you notice here, for example, in here, see, I will have to also do this. See, that this is where the problem is now. 
So, <clears throat> to go around that real quick, I'm going to select this option, the magic one, and select contiguous, contiguous, I don't know how to say that word, sorry. And I'm going to select this, and I am going to promote selection like whatever is selected promote it here and then take the acceleration off and then over here i'm gonna add another layer it's gonna be a raster layer and then now i'm just gonna go and fill this up and see i already got it there fast and then all I have to do now is just simply save it. And that's it. So now <clears throat> we go back here again. And on this base color texture, we're going to hit this option again. But instead of save, now we're going to load it. And voila, see? Now I have my different tones here of, of colors, like the dark purple and then the light one here, and the zipper here, okay? Now for the rest, I'm not gonna be doing the rest in the um, Paint Shop Pro, because I mean, that's gonna take a while. I already, if you s saw before, I already got the textures ready. And I did that before the video, so you know that I won't spend that much time. So in here, I will select the cape, and then let's just go here and select cape here. See, and that looks awesome. Now for the belt. You know, I pretty much did the same thing as the suit there when I was editing in the pinch up prop before, so you know, you know the deal. Here, belt. And for the pockets. Um, see. And. Last will be the boots here. Okay, so I guess she's pretty much done. That looks awesome. Okay. And of course, with the, uh, let me just save it just in case, you know. <laughs> and I'm going to select the suit, and then again, you see, kind of looks a little bit polygonal here. Let me see. I could smooth that. Oh, I hope this doesn't take that long. It probably will. <laughs> ah, okay. And subdivision and go level two here okay that looks awesome and now to finalize this we're just gonna look for a good pose for her to stand i'm gonna go here on the pose option um, body and you know we got here many um, styles and you know for female and male but in her case I want her to be standing like a superhero pose and fortunately in all of these um, females um, posing styles they don't have like a superhero one for females so i may have to use a 
a male one here. And it's gonna be, let me see, one that I saw that I did like this one here, standing. I think it's this one, standing 08. Let's see how that works, see? Uh-oh, see? Again, this is crazy. See, we notice again that everything went. Well, I'm just going to leave it like that anyway because uh, I don't think. Um, you know, I'm almost done with the video anyway. But. Okay, and let me just simply select this backdrop here and kind of like. Lower down there. There we go. Okay, and I guess this will be part three. This is it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And for the next video, there's going to be another video that I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to make one of my favorite characters here, and she is Blaze Fielding. Yes, from Steel Rage 4. I'm going to see if I can... I mean, I'm going to be creating her. I have created her before. If you see a photo here, see? So, that will be the next video. So, if you like this video, um, please hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching. See you next time.